Yeah, Jack and I used to work together. Um, he was a normal, nice guy. Really professional. Um, always pleasant. Yes, I knew his wife as well. She was really sweet. They seemed happy, like they were in love. The story is one of the more bizarre tales we've experienced in a long time. Jack Sams, serving an eight-year sentence for manslaughter. And you set out to blackmail them the same way they did to you? In a way. Alleged's wife, Rona, was having an affair. Yeah, I knew Sean came to class one time, knew his lines, very enthusiastic. Sean Justice, now deceased. Pretty apparent they had a good chemistry. As you stated in your confession, when you place Trick into a box, a coffin of sorts. He escaped. Sam's claims that his wife, Justice, and a mystery man he calls Trick concocted a plan to extort over half a million dollars from him. By the time he discovered exactly what was happening, it was already too late. Many say that you created Trick, that you made him up in order to cover your dangerous obsession with your estranged wife's new life and boyfriend, Sean Justice. I only wish I knew. You did say some among the ranks in law enforcement have proof of Trick's existence. Detective Scott and Epperson could prove the existence of him. But why haven't the detectives come forward? Save a lot of time. But it's easy to do a story on a guy, a crazy guy in prison, and the boogeyman, right? But I get it. You took matters into your own hands. Um, you had to find your wife and, of course, get your money back. It was never about the money. What was it about? sister's got a foot tapping on the front porch. Hmm, I hear you. You can keep the lady waiting. You go beat that trap. Shoot. She is again. ETA. That's my cue. I'm glad everything worked out. Shirt and ties are at the retreat. We're all out for the long weekend. I told Ralph what you'd be doing and you'd leave the place spotless. Of course, you know, he was like typical Ralph. <laughs> Asshole. Anyway, I went to bat for you. Appreciate that, Wendy. You know I always got your back. So the place is all yours for the weekend. I know I'm leaving it in good hands. I can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, 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 oh. oh 
I used to work on these with my dad. You're gonna do the finish and everything. That's the plan. I call shotgun for the first run. You got it. Hey. I'm a girl that loves her cars. Okay, buddy, you have fun. You too, Wendy. Oh, I'm Buddy. Yeah. Um, if you need me, why don't you text or email? I'll check when I can. I will. Phone service up there is for shit. Hey. Yeah? Don't get into any trouble. Hello? Hi, this is Miss Rita from Tolliver Academy. Is this Olivia? Yes, this is Olivia. Hi, I'm calling because you're listed as the temporary emergency contact for Haley Gingham. Yes. It's protocol that when students need to be absent, we need to receive a call, but Haley didn't show up at school, nor did we receive Wait a, a minute. call, so I'm giving you... I don't understand. Hold on. You're saying she's not at school? Correct. It is now after lunch period. And no, no, no. I dropped her off right in front of the school this morning. Well, she's not been in her first three that happens with no Hold problems. on. You are not Haley's mother, correct? Uh, no, she's my fiance's niece, his sister's girl, and we're just keeping her for a few weeks. Hey, can, can you tell me what the next step is here? Why don't you come into the office, and we'll have you speak with our guidance counselor and speak to the principal.
Sir. Oscar. Am I late? Nah, man, I'm early. Always am. You hungry? Wanna grab a bite? <laughs> Sounds cool, brother, but the merchandise. Next time, then. Let's get to it. All right. Last chance. There's no undipping your toe out of this water. Victor, you disappoint me. How long have we been doing business? This ain't like dropping a package in a dumpster behind Jack in the Box. You think I'm having any doubts to get your boy to count the money in that bag? Passenger side floor. If you say it's there, it's there. Roll, brother. Till next time. Let's make it soon. Vamos. We're all clear. Take him at the bridge. It's okay, sweetie. You're safe now. FBI. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Who is it? What's happening? Oh, God. happening have you seen him do you know what's happening
What's happening? Have you seen my niece? Have you seen Haley? Shut up. Shut up. Don't piss her off. Who is he? Who are you? Keep your voice down. I can't. I can't feel anything. None of us can. But just try to stay calm, okay? Glad that's over. Debriefing's always a bitch. How's the girl? She's good, considering. Typical runaway. Father's flying in from Minneapolis. Hasn't heard from her in over two months, so you can imagine. That piece of shit Victor is in surgery. Took two in the chest when we moved in, if you care. I don't. You did good, Agent. I want to send you away for a few days of R&R. &R. You can... Shave whatever you have going on there. Get drunk, laid, you know, normal human being stuff. Yeah, oh, I'm good. See your kid, Agent. Don't drown in this shit. I said I was good. That's what I told him you'd say. They had an assignment for Roberts. I asked him to give it to you so we can get you an XQC. You know how these things go. Gotta get you out of here for a few days. Protect your identity. Then we'll talk about you going back under. Until then, call this a working vacation. Should be an easy one. Missing persons is down an agent. He backlogged up the ass. So go over there, take a few days, look into this. It's a missing cop, minus a finger. This digit turned up in a dumpster when some homeless dude was looking for lunch. This other piece would probably turn up any day now. You know this. Lieutenant says he has a spotless record, but he's been a bit obsessed with having the desk stalker. Even after the Bureau took over and closed the books on it. He's all over it until a day or so ago. Anyway, Brass thinks we should have an interest in it. File an official report, given the details. His phone records and transcripts are in there. Nothing jumps out. And they think this is related to the desk stalker. Who knows? But we're the ones that closed it, so we gotta look under the skirt of this thing. Go split up when you go in there. Do some poking around, write the report, but don't break your back on this. You up for it? Glad to be out of that box, huh, guys? Yeah, he brought me in a box, too. I don't know how long I was in there. I was unconscious for part of the time. I, and I, I don't remember how long. It wasn't long. He brought me here last night and locked me in one of those rooms. I haven't been here long. He took me out of the box and he brought me here last night. The trunk of his car. You? He just had me about two days. I woke up in a shed of some sort. This morning he drove us here, locked me up in one of those back offices, and then he brought me out here. I just went out for a jog, and I think he took Haley. Who's Haley? Is she here too? No, I don't know. I don't know. The school called me, and she was missing, and she's my niece. My fiance's niece. She's my responsibility. Brian, keep your voice down. He's gonna hear you. So what? He knows we're here. Oh God, do you think he has Haley? Do, do you think he has Haley here? He's right, you gotta keep it together, okay? Whether she's here or not, losing control isn't gonna help her. There's a good chance that this guy's just using her as part of his threat as part of whatever demands that he's trying to make. So just stay calm. We're gonna work together, okay? And we're gonna be smart about this. Yeah, says the guy who couldn't escape a shed. Hello? 
Hey. Bobby? You okay? They... Yeah, 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 I'm fine. This means your assignment is over. How's the monster? He's good, Bobby. <sighs> Scored twice in one game last week. Marcus and I took him for ice cream after. You know, that place he likes. He misses his daddy. He asks a lot of questions, but he knows what you do is important. That's good. You want to talk to him? No. No. No, 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 no. I gotta go. Um, listen, I have another assignment. Bobby. This one's not undercover. And you tell the monster, I'll see him soon. That's what you said last time. Tell him I'll see him soon. Don't tell him that. I gotta go. Who's the empty chair for? I've got an idea about that. Who? You see these masks that we're all wearing? Each one of them is a replica of ones used during a major crime spree that was exacted by a very cunning criminal. And this dude, this, this big dude? No, not him. It's another guy. I suspect that's whose chair that is. How do you know? Because I worked the case. He was also there the night I got taken. Are you a cop? Detective, yeah. How the hell did you end up here? For the last couple of years, I've been investigating a, a closed case of one that I've been trying to get reopened. It was the Death Stalker killer. I had a major breakthrough a while back, and I got a message a couple of nights ago from a source that claimed they had information that would prove my suspicions were correct that the Death Stalker killer is at large. I was to meet them at a train station out of the car alone as requested no guns no guns no wire I walked right into a trap where do I meet you hello What are you doing here? Help me! Stupid mistake. Start talking. You shouldn't have been there. I'm trying. Start talking. What is listen, this? listen. That didn't make any sense. Uh, listen to me, Emerson. He gave me something. Can't move. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. He's watching us. He knew something was wrong. He gave me something. I can't move. Stand. He gave Stand me something. Right I, now. I can't. Emerson, Emerson look out. Look out. By the time I felt the ejection of my neck, it was too late. What happened to your hand? I don't know. I woke up like this. I imagine when these drugs wear off, it's going to hurt like hell. My God, but he cut off your finger. Oh, too bad it wasn't your tongue. You're an asshole. Paul, oh, what's up, man? Hey, man, uh, you got a minute? Yeah, yeah, come on in. Sweetness. 
Look who came to visit. Is Olivia with you? Uh, no, 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 I, um... Uh, babe, I think Paul and I are just gonna have a couple brews. We'll stay out of your way. Is that cool with you, baby? Sure. Thank you. Oh, unless you drank them all. Mm. At 3 a.m. That's cute. Very cute. I'm a night owl, you know that. What can I say? And the guy who took you is this guy, right? Yeah. You're saying this guy's a Death Stalker? The Death Stalker got his name from the Death Stalker Scorpion because of the way he hunts and paralyzes his prey before he. But it goes beyond that. He makes a game out of toying with his prey. And he derives excitement from the fear he instills. He stalks, paralyzes, captures, and detains his prey. It's his MO, it's how he got his name. So for this guy, I, I don't know, there's something. I mean, this isn't exactly the Death Stalker's method, but sometimes they change him. You're leaving out the final step of this process. What step? Oh, you have the best. Questions. What do you think? He kills his victims. He didn't just bring us here to mess with us. Well, I don't know this guy. I wasn't involved. None of us are involved. I don't know him either, but you heard the cop. It's a game to him. I was just out for a jog. Arguing isn't going to help us, ladies. Okay. So, where is this other guy? The one with all these masks. Yeah, there's another guy near the box I was in. He sounded pretty muffled, but it sounded like he was struggling, so... I don't know, maybe? Maybe. I mean, there's gotta be a reason we're all here. I told her I didn't drink them all. Looks like you could use one, brother. All right, what's up? I'm in trouble, man, and I didn't know who else to go to. I got a voicemail at work this afternoon. No number, just this message. I have your fiance. Fail to follow my instructions, and she dies. Go to your car. You will find an envelope containing your instructions taped underneath, but remember these rules. No police. If you attempt to contact authorities, your fiancé will die. If you have not accomplished your task when her time runs out, she dies. The clock is ticking. I will be watching. He's got Olivia, man. And I, I believe him. He'll, he'll kill her. I, 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 don't, I don't know what's Slow going down. on. Back up. Take it from the beginning. Olivia's missing, and then you get the voicemail. And I, and I, I drive up to where she always runs, and, and I, don't, I don't see her car there. So I've just been waiting, and I'm, I'm going out of my mind. And, and, and when he said, no police, I didn't want to take the chance. But he's got her, and he knows where I work, and he knows my car. Where are the instructions? I remember the name from, from that case you worked a while back. And it rang a bell with me, you know? Jack Sams. Jack Sams out of prison in exchange for Olivia. You will be contacted with a meeting point and enjoy the pictures. He, he wants me to get Jack Sams out of prison? Why would he take Olivia and ask me to do that? I, I, how can I pull that off? Where are these pictures?
It's like looking in a mirror. Huh? Gary Kirby and his brother. What'd you make on that deal? 200 G's? That was a good one. Holly DeBriggs. A million, right? <laughs> Don't cry. I guess that's the going rate to get a mother to turn on her own son. This job disgusts me. The Ulysses Corporation. That was a genius one. You got away with a load of cash Yet their CEO ends up doing time for what you did. <sighs> I love this mask. This is my favorite one. The Oxley Kid. Only you are heartless enough to take an 18-year-old for his entire inheritance. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was the evening with Jack Sams. That one came back to bite you in the ass a little, though, didn't it? But yet here you sit, and Jack Sams sits in the cell doing time. Of course, there was my least favorite job of all that you pulled. The skull face that showed up on my doorstep a few months ago. And that is what we're here to discuss. <laughs> Listen, come on, man, you gotta believe me. It was all a big mistake. I can get your money back. Hell, I'll even double it. Hey, wait, wait, stop, wait, let me make a phone call. I can get your money back with the interest. I'll do it. Stop! Listen, just stop! Heck, he's gonna kill you if you don't shut the hell up. Everson, is that you? Oh, thank God you're alive. Listen, you gotta believe me. This is the same. That's not what you called yourself, then. That's not how you introduced yourself to me. For once, do what someone tells you and shut up! Okay, listen, I just want to talk things through. No, 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 wait, 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 stop, man. Come on, I just want to talk things through like men, okay? Trent! Dude, just shut up, he's gonna kill you. Stop it, please, leave him alone. He's not gonna kill us. You're not gonna kill us. No, we haven't seen your face. Your face is covered. You keep your face covered because you can, you can get what you want. You get away free. You know how I know this? Because this is my game! You're not a killer. Now we know each other. Man, you gotta talk to me. 
Here's Olivia. I, I, I can't get this Sam's guy out of prison. Maybe I could come up with some money, you but... You need to listen to me. Well, you got to tell me he's not going to kill her. I'm going to handle this, but I'm going to need to leave. It's very important that you stay here and act like nothing is going on. Do not leave the house, understand? Well, what are you going to do? I'm getting your ESN number. It's going to help us find Olivia. Every call you get, every call you make, I'll be able to hear. Every text, every photo, what you see, I will see. Just remember, he said no cops. Luckily, I'm not a cop anymore. Then the call came in. About the finger? Yeah, about the finger. Let's go. He was a good detective and a good person. He helped me get the job here after I finished the academy. You keep referring to him in the past tense. <sighs> Habit of the job, I guess. Yeah, I guess. That was a case he worked on a few years ago. I had called 911 about a tenant of mine who had gone missing. Epperson was one of the cops who showed up to question me. He was nice. Partner was kind of a douche. Okay, that's one of our guys out there. Great. Seems like you boys only show up. When you guys can't get the job done. An officer. Grant. Trust me, I didn't ask for this case. Yes, the department recognizes that the case was closed like three years ago. Epperson is a great investigator. He's my go-to guy. But he developed a fascination, I'll call it, with the Deathstalker case. As in he believes the Deathstalker's still out there. It wasn't just the Deathstalker. Detective Epperson has found it hard to let cases go just in general. So I've heard. No. You talk about Detective Epperson in the present. Officer Grant talks about him in the past tense. Fashion of preference, I guess. Yes. But in your professional opinion, do you think Detective Epperson's disappearance has something to do with the past case, with the current case, with the death stalker? Lieutenant, cut off the press results. You're the first. Good timing. Agent Church, Ashley Fingerling. She's our lab rat that discovered that the fingerprints on the appendage do, in fact, belong to Epperson. Agent Church here is from the FBI. They want a full report on this whole mess. And I get the irony. My name is Fingerling, and I worked on a severed finger. Ha ha. Is that ironic? Never seem to be able to use that word properly. These are the reports. Go ahead and give us the lazy man's version. I ran it through the usual and came up with a whole list of things that shouldn't be camping out in his system. Triorthocresyl phosphate, methocarbamol, dantrolene, and well, nitrite, which is an offshoot of halothane and botulinum toxin. It's stuff that can be bought on the black market without too much of a hassle. But the most interesting component I found was ginger jake. It's a Jamaican root extract concoction that can cause partial paralysis. Well, it's full paralysis. That leaves the cranial and diaphragm nerves intact so the victim cannot move but can still think and breathe. Oh, it's been found in all the death suckers' victims. Look, I even circled it. Cool. Of course, we'll run this up the pole and check for any contraband. It looks like Everson exhausted all his sources on this case, and I know the Bureau has done the same thing, so I doubt you guys are going to uncover anything new. It's amazing what kind of drugs you can buy online these days. Sure. So, okay. Detective Epperson's ex-wife uh, was nice enough to come down here and talk to you. 
for your report. She saved me some drive time. I'm surprised she did. She's not a big fan of the department. Thank you for your time. Agent, our entire department is aware of what we're up against and the likely outcome. The lab reports confirmed my suspicions. I'm not gonna stand in the way of your reports, so please don't stand in the way of us doing our work. We're just trying to get our guy back. You won't even know I'm here. You gonna tell me what's going on? I need to check on a few things. With the gun. I need you to stay here for a few hours. Paul's in trouble, so is Olivia, please. Ryan, my mom is expecting me. My stuff is packed and on the driveway. Please. I have to go out, and I cannot leave him here alone. I really need your help on this. So basically, you're not giving me a choice. Okay. I will give you a little bit, and that's it. This is for Olivia and for Paul, not you. Thank you. I think. Don't answer any calls you don't recognize. Don't let him make any calls except to me, okay? And do not say a word about this. Not to your mom. Don't discuss it with that friend I hate. Don't tweet it. I got it. Listen. No police. What is happening? Are we in danger? I'm just being cautious. This is for Paul. This is for Olivia. We'll talk about us later. There's nothing left to talk about. Jab me in the neck with a syringe. Lights out. So you're the reason we're here. Look, I do a thing for money. And I make a few enemies along the way, like this guy. We did a deal a few months back. I guess he wasn't impressed. You did a deal. What he means to say is that he took the Death Stalker for all he's worth and then crapped all over his life in the process. Something like that. So you're just a con man. You're just a thief. I didn't know he was who he really is. If I did, darling, I wouldn't be here. Okay, so you and the cop here, you guys know each other. But why me? I, I haven't been involved with you or any case. Yeah, well, I don't know any of you, and I certainly don't have any money he can take. Maybe this isn't about money. Yeah, well, maybe it is about the money. You straight up robbed the guy, but none of us did. At least I didn't. 
maybe about him killing all of us now because you bullied him into showing us his friggin' face. You really know how to pick him, don't you, Trick? Why do you call him Trick? Because he doesn't want people to know his real name is Herbert Herbert. <laughs> yes, laugh. I might have looked funny on my birth certificate. Oh, and by the way, my last name is pronounced Hey Bear, if you care. Yes, Everson, I get it. I screwed up. Okay? But this isn't the first time I've had one come after me. You do remember what happened to Jack. You don't get this, do you? This isn't one of your games, Trick. He doesn't care about the money. He's a killer. And he's gonna kill every one of us unless we figure out a way out of it. You're so full of shit. <laughs> Seriously, if you know so much, then why are you here? Yeah. You expect us to believe that you and Prick, Trick, or whatever the hell, that you guys ended up in the exact same room years later with the same psychopath? I think there's more to it than that. What then? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I think I know why I'm here. And our cop boy Everson might be here because he's tracking this guy. And it just so happens that we have history. So as it was, two birds, one stone. If we can just figure out what you people are doing here, then maybe we can find a way out of this together. Francis Gusley. Call me Gus. I haven't been called Francis since middle school. Gus it is then. Special Agent Bobby Church, we spoke earlier today. I want to say I appreciate you coming down here given it's a time sensitive matter. It's really helpful. Have you seen it? The finger. So they told you what they found. I've been on the bench for two years. I have a few connections. Yeah, I understand that, and no, I have not seen it, but I have read the toxicology report, and... I haven't it's... talked with him in four weeks. That's what you want to know, right? I had to put Penny down, the cat. I thought he should know, you know, we rescued her together. Has he mentioned anything to you that maybe seemed unusual? I don't even know what that would mean. Irritated? Yeah, he was irritated, but he always seemed irritated when we spoke after the split. Was it a messy divorce? I don't know why that's relevant. I have to look at all the possibilities. It's my job. You know that I've been asked all of these questions by his department, don't you? Why are you from another field office, by the way? I was married to a cop for four years and in the DA's office before the bench. I know a little bit about protocol. I get it, but you gotta understand, your ex-husband hasn't missed a day of work in years. And now suddenly he's not heard from in two days, given the recent discovery. His finger! Given yeah. that... And his involvement in high-profile cases, they asked me to come down here and help out an understaffed division for a couple of days. Like I said, that's my job. I understand. You have a job to do. But I'm afraid that's all you're going to get out of me. We speak every few months. That's about it. I know very little about his life these days. It's not like him to disappear. But then he wouldn't share with me his plans or anything that he was working on either. He's obviously gotten himself into some kind of trouble. His job tends to do that. Some men hit the bottle, others bang their secretary. David's downfall was always his work. There was a fugitive that got away a few years ago and he's still obsessed about that. And then the Deathstalker case came around and it was his case. Big one. And the FBI took it away from him. And you took our marriage away with it. I'm an actress. I've done a few commercials, some small films. In between jobs. My parents helped me. I'm a graduate student, getting my master's in foreign relations. And I just got engaged. 
Well, you know what I do. But I did. Okay, trick and I aside. For the rest of you, it may not be that simple. You have to think who or what are your friends and family connected to? Who have you or they been involved with in the past? That's where the answers will be. Ginger Jake. You gonna grab some seal in there, pal? So that's your plan? You're gonna shoot a federal agent. That's the bluff you're gonna go with? I'm gonna go for my badge. Don't get any finger spasms. No, that bullshit doesn't work with me. Hands up for me. No, I don't want to shoot you, but I will. Who are you? Sally, come on. Ah, come get your food. Where you at, ho? Sally. Sally. $900 shoes, you psycho! My dad's gonna hear about this, and you're gonna be gone, man. You're going to friggin' prison forever. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that week? 
Yo, dude, I don't even live here, man. This isn't my place. Listen, I, I can pay, all right? My dad's a big freaking lawyer, man. He can get you whatever you want. He can get you anything. Listen, listen, don't do that. Put it down. I don't even live here, man. Put it down. Just... that what did he draw what did he draw guys come on what did he draw you can't be serious right bullseye now. he drew a bullseye <laughs> why why me why am i why am i the only one who, get, who gets it we don't know what it means we know exactly what it means. It means that I'm a dead man. I'm dead. I'm going to die. <laughs> Look at the numbers. <laughs> Look at the levels in the jars. Let's put this together right now. Don't you get it? When my parents don't pay Goliath out there, he's gonna come in here and he's gonna kill me and then he's gonna go down the line one by one, number by number. What do you mean when your parents don't pay? I thought you said you didn't know this guy. I don't know him. But guess what? I'm not some cop who gets caught, and I'm not some chick who's out for a jog. You want to know what I bring to the table? My parents are filthy rich. Boom. That's what I bring to the table, okay? So then why, why hasn't he made any demands? Why hasn't he... I don't know, simpleton. Since you're the one with the bullseye on your face, I suggest you start thinking this through with the rest of us and stop acting like such an asshole. That's why he's taking pictures of us. He's using the same game I did. By now he's already contacted your parents, your husbands, your lovers, whatever. And they're all scrambling to pay him. If it is your parents, rest assured he's already contacted them and squeezed them into giving him a bag full of cash. Trust me, I know how this works. Except your game was bullshit. He's not bluffing. At least we're not in one of those wooden coffins. If we don't figure this out, this will be our coffin. I'm number two. <laughs> Does that mean I'm there? I saw Epperson in the pictures, so like you, I came here hoping I'd find something to point me in the right direction. Well, Detective Epperson seems to be holding up considering. He and I, we haven't talked in two, maybe three years. I needed something to go on. Olivia, her fiance Paul, we're good friends, go way back. So let me get this straight. You know two of these hostages that are here. There's more. Him. Him what? He went by the name of Trick when Epperson and I first came across him a few years ago. He's actually the catalyst that made Jack Sams do what he did. So what do Olivia and her fiancé have to do with Jack Sams? Nothing. That I know of. But I'll tell you something with Trick. There's definitely more to this than what we're seeing. They look like rag dolls. It's Ginger Jake stuff. It's no joke. What do you know about this Deathstalker thing? I was long gone before then. Okay. Well... I'm going to get my guy on it, see if he can't source where this... Come on. I heard the message myself. He was very clear with Paul. No cops. You give this to your person, who knows what he's going to do to Olivia and to Epperson. All right, so your guy, he can find this source. He's a she. She's good. Been doing jobs for me over the years off and on. The way I see it, nobody's going to put a proper trace on this thing for a while. So my girl, she'll take a look at the pictures. She'll see what we're not seeing. She works under the radar. I just need some time, Agent. Okay, well, my job was to find Detective Epperson and then report back. Okay, I gotta do what I gotta do, but I'm gonna give you some more time. I'm gonna give it to you because I want to, not because I owe you. I'll take it.
Epperson. I felt a tingle in my hands last night when Sasquatch was changing the juice in these tombs. So you could move? I, I don't know. Maybe. I felt my hands tingle. Seriously, how long can this stuff last? Come on, how much of this crap could he possibly have? He only has so much in each canister for a reason. Awesome. I'll wait it out while you guys figure out a reason. Never mind the target on my face. What is this stuff? I'm not sure if it's the same thing, but the Death Stalker used a, a cocktail of different paralyzing agents, and like the Scorpion, it would render his victims motionless, and they could still breathe while, well. While what? While he tortures and kills his victims. That's what. Hey, Epperson, I've been wondering, how did you get roped into this and not Scott? I don't know. I heard he quit and joined the private sector. We haven't exactly kept in touch. Did you say Scott? Yeah. Not Brian Scott. He was a detective and he's in private investigation and security? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We know him. He's a friend of my fiance's. We live right down the street from him. You're kidding. No, he's... he's a friend. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Help me! Help me! Stop, dude. Seriously. Don't! Don't you tell me to stop. I have a ticking time bomb on my face, and that ball's about to drop. Shut up. What a freak. You're so dumb. Stupid. I'm not listening to you. You're so pathetic. I'm not listening to you. He peed his pants. Idiot. Shut up. Loser. Shut up. So stupid. No, I'm not. Stand up, you loser. I'm not listening to you. So ugly. So pathetic. I gave you choices. I gave you time. Your nose is so big. Do not interrupt me. Doesn't stink. Don't. <laughs> You'll regret this. Easy, easy. Come on. Am I close? You're close, just don't rush. Rush a little. No, no, down. Yeah, down. Like another quarter inch. Just from under the right. Lower. Look it now! <sighs> Damn it! Bitch! Are you seriously unable to shut your mouth for one second? if you just shut up while I concentrate? You sure you don't want a beer? I'm good. 
Suit yourself, player. So, what you got for me? I know you got more than this for me. You know I do. There's a lot more where this came from as soon as you get me what I need. Okay? Okay. I just gave you an ESN number for a cell phone. It's getting pictures, texts, calls. Go over every picture frame by frame. Everything. All right. All right. All right, I'm in. What's my deadline? Deadline is we need it ASAP. For an assistant, it sure do act like it's wearing daddy's shoes. We don't have time for this. You know me. Would I show up if this thing weren't important, okay? I'm good for it, you know that. Ain't too sure about your piss on assistant, though. Piss ant? It listens. You gotta train. All right, well. This is some shambolic stuff going on here. Tell you right now, they got several rerouting programs working. GPS is bouncing 50 miles at a time. It's going to take me about a hot minute or two to figure out where the... A hot minute, I'm assuming you mean what? It's, Every... it's time we don't have. All right, give me some space. All right, now go through your little picture program. Plus, I do not need that yapping in my ear. Contact with Zeller. Hepperson's car hasn't been located yet. Yeah, well, it's still too early for that anyway. And I spoke to Gusley again. She said she had no idea where her ex-husband might set up some kind of meeting point, but she also said most likely he wouldn't choose the spot. So, no go on that one. So you talked to Gus. What else does she have to say? Showtime. Scotty? Hello? Do you see what happens when instructions are not followed? <laughs> Olivia will be next. You've got 30 minutes to meet me with Jack Sams. Or Olivia will die. Wait, 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 where? What, 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 do, what do I... 30 minutes. Hello? Hello? Talk to me, man. Oh, listen. You heard what he said, man. 
He's gonna kill her. They're, they're, she, she's next. I'm with people right now. Wait, we what do I do for 30 it. minutes? What am, what am I supposed to do? I can't be with that man. I know. Please. Please. If you can't find this location... I'll find it. We need Jack Sands. Yes? Yeah, give it a try. Slowly. You got it. There it is. Huh. <laughs> yes, girl. That's how you do it. Did she get it? Yeah. I got it. We can start kissing my ass as soon as we're out of here. <gasps> Gladly. <gasps> Give it a few minutes. If it works, you should get some movement. If any of you are religious, now's the time to start praying. Anything yet? No. Wait. Maybe. Buddy. Buddy? It's Wendy. You at, you at the shop? Yeah, I was just gonna leave the... Oh! <laughs> Listen to this. My sister and her family all got the flu or something, so I had to cut my weekend short. I'm sad tonight, so I thought I'd come down and roll up my sleeves. Can I help out? Keep you company? Yeah, Wendy. Maybe have uh, some beers? I think I need to take a rain check on that. Shut off! I really gotta... Good stuff. Buddy, you, you, you're breaking up. Hey, um, I'll just swing by, okay? I'll see you when I get there. I'll see you when I get there. Hey, Gus. 
he still alive? He is, but there is very little time. The only demand we've gotten is the reason why we're here, and we are running out of options. It's done. He's got four hours till he turns back into a pumpkin. Marshall Phillips is a personal friend of mine and is doing me a favor. So Sam stays with him in his custody the whole time. Do you understand? They're processing him now. But if anything goes wrong, I lose the bench, and I'll end up in there myself. Don't mess this up. We have no other choice. Smoke? I quit. Really? Bought it back. Thought maybe you were still living the good life. You don't owe me for it. It totally would have been my treat. They'll be bringing him through the side access here in a few minutes. Stay in this lot. Finish this. And have Sam's back here before the assistant warden starts sifting through the paperwork I've just signed. Not too many people like you, do they? Your head's too square. It's weird. Buddy. Hello. Hello. What's going on here? Help us. Listen. We need help. Where's the buddy? I, 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 I just Listen, my name is Detective David Everett. Leave this you need to listen. Right Would you listen to me? Listen to me. You need you to have call help us. No. You, you need to leave. Crazy. Leave He's this dead. building right He's now. Crazy. Call 911. Tell me no one did. Not anymore. Sorry to hear that. Don't suppose you know anything about what's going on tonight, do you? Not a clue. Deputy Marshal Phillips. Special Agent Bobby Church. Pleasure. This is ex-detective Scott. Thanks, sir. Kind of makes me sound unaccomplished when you say it that way, Church. Thank you. Look at your clock's already running. Is this the car we're using for the transport? Yeah, and we're using him as a bargaining chip. I'm honored. We're just going to drive him around a little bit. We'll get him right back. Watch your head. Loretta. How much do you love me? It depends, babe. What you got for me? I went through your little picture show. Not much to go on. You know, IVs, tubes, the finger, you know, kidnapping stuff. Boring. So you got nothing. Hold on, piss it. You know, that mouth of yours, I got a license plate. Loretta. Your, uh, your little girlfriend, Epperson, every picture, his eyes were averted. It was weird. I mean, every picture, he's looking away, nods, even with my brother who had to rest. That would have been strange for him. Loretta. He was looking at the glass. There's something reflected in the glass jars. I zoom in, I get a license plate. And yes, I already ran it. Why? Because I am the shit that's why the shit.com.net.org, all right, dot edu. Please. It is registered to a one Budford A. Sizemore. Now let me ask y'all something. Who would name their child Budford? Loretta, we don't have any time. For I'm you. assuming you have an address for us. Yes, I got an address, but he is not keeping them people in that little studio apartment that he's got listed on his driver's license. I'm guessing he's got them at his workplace. 
because he works at a warehouse. It's the holiday weekend. So the place would be empty. I'm going to send you that address. Stand by. I told you she was good. found Olivia. Yeah, we're on the way now. <laughs> Exciting. It's Big Bad Wolf this ass. Do not leave him alone. I got my orders. No security cameras. We can surprise him. Team on site, four victims, deceased. I have three missions. She's dead. Where's Olivia? They're both dead. Where is Olivia? Give me out of this. I have one police officer in stable condition. We're en route to the hospital. You saw the license plate. What happened in there? Looks like your plan's not going so well. Not gonna get any better. Why don't you get that lady out of that box and we'll uh, figure out how to end this. I don't know how I missed it. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. To end this. I never liked needles. Guess that's why I didn't have any. You son of a bitch! Oh, don't be mad, Everson. It wasn't me that cut your finger off. I didn't cut your finger off because I'm not about that. See? I'm not into violence, but apparently my friend here is. Big man panicked, shot the kid, stomped that poor woman. I don't know, she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Young girl, Nicole, she actually got free and made a run for it, but didn't make it. Sorry about that. I had to improvise a little. Yeah, it's all right. I'm pretty good at improvising myself. No one dies! No one dies! I told him that, Epperson! But he failed! So he pays the price! I'm just really sorry about your finger, man. Where are you taking her? Come back! Trick! Trick! This run the show the whole time. I don't know how I missed it. Took the truck. He grabbed that girl Olivia and put her in the wooden box. And took off. I can't believe he did this to us again. So, Epperson comes back in a couple of days. Yeah, well, I'm on the next train out of here. This came over for you. Some more craziness about that case. 
I want a piece of the action when you get a book deal off of this. If you ever find Trick or Jack Sam's, I'll write that book for free. Good luck finding that girl. Yeah. Thought I'd save you the effort and dial the phone for you. Yeah, well, I still got a finger for you. Not that I give a damn, but you okay? Yeah, I'll live. What's the fiance doing? Rough. Not holding out hope, putting a lot on my shoulders. Yeah, so I figured, well, like I said, we'll let you know. Let you know Jack and Trick doing anything. Probably. Okay, let me know the word. An Epperson. Yeah. If a guy sends you a message and claims to know Jack the Ripper, Maybe don't follow that one up. Will do. Hey, how's the niece, by the way? My fiance's niece. Niece? Yeah, Paul's niece, Haley, the one staying with him. I don't know, Olivia said something about Buddy kidnapping her, but I figured it was all part of the bluff. Paul doesn't have a niece. Agent Church, it's Malone. Happy to get you back next week. Sounds like you had exactly the vacation you wanted. Anyway, I don't know if you're still over there, but I faxed over a few things to add to the file when you hand in the report. I guess some of Sean Justice's family has been trying to get all that money in from the account he shared with Rona Sams. Looks like they got lucky, and the judge just allowed the funds released to them today. Rona Sams being a ghost for five years and all. Anyway, we've got a couple agents looking into it. See if there's anything there. I'll send you their IDs if you want something to read. Hello, Rona. Jack. How do you... I got out. I guess you don't watch the news. And the joint. All you have is time. Time to think. And all you need is one thing. Just one thing to get you through. Through those dark nights. <laughs> you know what I had? I thought about you every hour of every day. Jack, the money. <laughs> I love the money. It's nothing. I moved around a few things while I was inside. I still have my old stocks. A trick? You never resist that kind of thing. And I couldn't resist seeing you finally pay up for your sins. He and I have been working on this a long time long time. I throw him a bunch of dough, he gets me out. Luckily, he knows where to find you. So here I am. And so the clock Yes, it does. Send you their IDs if you want something to read. All this time, Jack. All this time. Trick had you believing that he had a plan to get you out of prison so you could finally take your revenge on me. 
What, what did you think? That you could just throw money at him again and this time you'd get a different result? My God, Jack. You were so blinded by your desperate need for revenge. You couldn't see clearly the reality. I wanted you out. Sean's sister wanted you out. So, here we are. Jack. Hi, Rona. I know the air in your coffins is probably getting pretty thin, so I'll be brief. Look, I had fun planning this whole thing with the two of you. Even though your respective plans were not really the plan, that FBI thing could have really changed the game. But Olivia, she's as sharp as a, well, a coffin nail. Sorry, I couldn't resist. She had it all covered from every angle. And does she ever hold a grudge? Guess she holds you both responsible for Sean's death. Couldn't let it go. And me? Well, money is money. But even better, I'm always up for a good performance. I know things got a little out of whack. I had no intention for that ogre to start opening fire on people. But he just wasn't really a thinker. Not like us. Although he did serve his purpose. I do feel bad about him killing our randoms. Seem like okay people. Under different circumstances, I think we all would have made a great team. Oh well, you put people in a situation, and they react. And what a situation it was. Goodbye, you two. I recommend shallow breaths. Maybe our cop friends and their new FBI pal will find you in time. Then again, they always seem to be a step or two behind. <laughs> And you did kind of screw them over, too. <laughs> Perhaps it's just best to settle in. <laughs>